Yo, what's going on everybody? Nick here from Akari Gaming, bringing you a new video today. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show off my brand new Battle Beavers custom with a nice little unboxing. Uh, I just got in the mail today and I'm really stoked to get it. If you haven't heard, uh, Battle Beaver Customs going to be one of our new partners for Akari Gaming. So uh, yeah, I thought it'd be cool to order a controller. As you know, I use a scuff, but I wanted to get something a little bit more uh, customized and a few more features. So after I unbox it, I'll show it off and I'll let you guys know what I bought and then, uh, you know, what I added on to it and, you know, what's my uh, overall opinion and, you know, if I like it or not. But anyway, let's go ahead and get it started. So just open it up real quick. Pretty excited. Alright. Alright, guys, here we go. So, let's just. As you can see, he ships it back in a nice little brand new controller box to let you know that he is, in fact, using a brand new controller. He's not using a refurbished one. Even though I think they do offer that on the website, you want to save some money. But, oh boy, here we go. Let's go. No, oh baby, here we go. So, right off the back, uh, you get a little sticker Battle Beaver Customs. He has his uh, business card. Got all the websites, social media, in this. and you get some brand new batteries. But this is what we want. Oh man, look at the colors on this. I decided to go ahead and do our, our team colors, which is in fact purple and white. And here's the front. Oh man, I wish I had a better camera. My camera is not picking this up too well. But as you can see, wow, why is it coming in all blurry? Anyway, we got uh, wow. So I got I did a, I went ahead and get the the matte purple front. Uh, I did the white trimming, so I got all the white white buttons here, which feel nice and smooth. On the back, I did uh, purple side caps to match the front with a white backing, and then uh, I got our buttons on the back, which if you hear those ones click really really well. But yeah, let's see this. Oh, uh, see this is the big thing. All right, so if my battle be very custom. What I ended up doing was uh, I did their smart triggers, which um, I guess they're, I'll go ahead and read it off so I don't uh, miss it up, but it's permanently and internally converts linear triggers into a button, removes the progressive ramp up, and has the shortest and lightest trigger pull available. Works for most games. So instead of like, you know, your usual uh, trigger stops, like, wow, this thing is, it really does look like a button. Like it's, here's my scuff. And see how well you still go. And that's with my scuff, like, actually, uh, I lower the triggers. I have the internal trigger stops. But look how low that goes. And you still got some time. This is literally, like, the shortest trigger, like, I've ever saw. I cannot wait to use this on the Call of Duty. Like, that is literally, like, the shortest trigger I've ever had. <laughs> so instead of, like, you know, you made it into a button, essentially. So now you get that immediate shoot. Oh, man, that's going to be crazy. I'm excited to try that out. But anyway, beside that, I went ahead and did a, a domed stick over here for your uh, right hand. And uh, why I like this one, because it, it's still off like that PS3 style, so it's got more got more room for your thumb. The reason I didn't get like on the scuff, I only, I just used regular concave because I didn't I don't like the I just didn't look like the the new scuff dome sticks that they make themselves. I just it looked really small and really short and just did not look very comfortable. And I always liked the PS3 style. Like I had this on my uh, 360, etc. But also, what I did is uh, pretty much what Battle Beaver does. They offer uh, thumbstick tension. So uh, on your Xbox One controller, you get 65 grams of pressure. On uh, on this one, you can go up to like 110, which is what I did, which is the 360 like normal uh, tension rate. So it's a lot more stronger. It's not here. Here's the there's, there's the Xbox scuff, and it's, you know, that's still a 65 grams of pressure. If you can, you can just hear the difference in the C, but this is a 110 grams per pressure, and it goes all the way up to 165, but this is, like, pretty much the main reason why I bought a, a Battle Beers. Like, it, it's just more of a tension, so you're, it's supposed to be help you, like, aim, aim longer distances, because on the 360, or, uh, not the 360, like, on the scuff and normal controller, like, you can just hear it. It's just really wide. It's really loose, and uh, when you're aiming down. But on this one, it's a uh, 110 grams, so it's almost almost double 
But yeah, and it goes up to 165 you want, but it this feels smooth. It's the exact uh, tension that you'd have on the 360 controller. So that's why I want that's why I uh, wanted to get this beyond all the other reasons, but also because like customizing way more options to customize a controller through Battle Beavers than you can on Scuff. Like it's not going to come in very smooth cuz my camera, but right here that's the Akara Gaming logo and I'll, I'll send pictures on my Twitter and you'll be able to check it out. But it's money. Like it's the exact logo. It's perfect. So I cannot wait to use that. So you can definitely customize this to your likings. And on the back, I did the normal A, B. So uh, A on the left side, B on the right. But oh man, dude, this is like, I'm going to have to get used to these triggers. But all you, all you can do is just hear that versus, and that's with that, that's adjusted. That's my uh, internal trigger. So that's for my scuff. And I'll do a more in-depth comparison and let you guys know about them. But yeah, this is... These are literally buttons now. Like there's, there's no, uh, there's like no pull. Like it's literally like you pressing, you're pressing a button, which is just insane because I've never saw it before. And uh, what I ended up doing is, I uh, one thing that I didn't like about the scuff for me personally, I don't have the, the largest hands. I don't have the smallest by any means either. But um, sometimes I just felt like my hand when I put on my scuff, like I'm towards like the middle of the paddle, so I don't really get that sweet spot which is on the bottom. Here, you can adjust the buttons to like high, medium, or low. And I did like, I did the medium, I believe. And like my my fingers are literally, they rest right on top of the button, which is absolutely perfect. That's what I wanted. So I'm gonna get more of a, a smooth transition and you can just hear those clicks. Like those things feel nice and smooth. So yeah, I'm gonna be able to like have a more comfort in my grip when I'm actually playing games. And like I said, these thumbsticks are, it's amazing. It's nice. Uh, have the same pressure as the 360 because that's what I really enjoyed. The Xbox One just it always seemed a little loose, but I never knew like you could actually adjust them. Like no one ever offered that. So these you can actually adjust your analog sticks, which is great. So now instead of 65 pounds or 65 grams of uh, force, I'm using 110, which is like your stock 360 controller, which I don't know most people love the 360 controller. So this is perfect. And like I said, I got the dome stick right here, PS3 style, not the the smaller one, like Scuff offers their their version of a dome stick, and this is like this is straight up like PS3 style, and it's really comfortable. It's what I was used to playing on because Scuff had that on their 360 controller. They used the PS3 dome sticks, so I'm really happy to get back to this. But yeah, but just over that, all you can just do is just tell the you can just tell by the color. Like I got the matte purple front side, and then white trimmings and white back, and it just looks beautiful. Like I, it's all I can really say. It is. A beautiful controller and I wish I had a better camera but like I said I'll be able to show some pictures but yeah my guide button is now the Akari Gaming logo which is fucking sweet that's like the ultimate customization that you can get for me is you can add your own team's logo I know that's what makes it popular but yeah tension the best thing ever these smart trigger stops which I wasn't really sure like I read it when I ordered it and I was like huh it's gonna be like regular trigger stops I'm like no like they literally take everything out now it's pretty much a button which is just sick like that is the shortest you'll ever, that's like the shortest pull you'll ever get like on any controller scuff or nothing even if you adjusted these to like the maximum i'm sure like they'd still be a little a little longer but yeah uh, i just wanted to show this off show it off to you guys uh let you guys know my opinion on what it looks like and you know it is beautiful like got our team colors on there we got the logo i know i finally have my ps3 dome stick and the nice tension Trigger stops, and now my fingers are perfect. They rest perfect on the A, B on the back, which is exactly what I wanted. So I, I cannot wait to use this, uh, you know, pop this open. The only thing that they don't have that uh, I'll let you know that Scuff does, Scuff has their uh, their grip, and these guys don't use a, they don't really offer a grip, but what they do is like, you know, you can buy, uh, I'm pretty sure they're partnered with like Squid Grip or something, because he sells Squid Grips. And so if you ever wanted to, you could go ahead and throw a squid grip on this, but I don't think I'm going to. I'm, the way it feels in my hand, like, it's perfect. So I'm not going to really mess with the grip. You know, if I have to, I'll, I'll put one of my squid grips on there. But, yeah, there you go. Now, price-wise, it's around the same price as a scuff. But one thing, like, uh, that I thought, for, at least through my experience, was I ordered this on the 31st, and I received this, you know, done at my house on the 9th. So, you know, <laughs> you do the math, what, nine days? 
It's insane. Nine days from the moment I ordered this is in my hands, already custom built for me. Uh, I had a really unpleasant experience of scuff on my second order. And I think it's because I ordered it during, like, you know, the release of Call of Duty, but it took me over 40 days from the moment I ordered to the moment I received my controller through scuff. So, I mean, it was <laughs> pretty much an extra month is how long it took me. And it was really an unpleasant experience. My first time I ever used a scuff in a 360 was really great. But uh, my second time, just, man, 40, over 40 days, it was like a nightmare. And I, the customer service wasn't very great, which is why, you know, I probably won't be using a scuff, especially now with the, you know, the customization you can get on this and just the benefits of the comp uh, attributes, like I said, the thumbsticks in the back and the trigger stops. But yeah, this is already a longer video. It's just going to be an unboxing. I started to do like a little bit of a comparison, which like I'll do a more in-depth after I actually use this in the game and let you know about how these have uh, helped my gaming experience. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, yeah, there you go. Battle Beaver. Also, if you use the code Akara, you'll save an extra 5% off your order. And, uh, you know, it helps support us. And, uh, yeah, I think you guys will be very happy, at least customization-wise. Like I said, this is just sweet. We had 11 minutes on this video. Sorry, sorry I ended up doing such a long one. Uh, I'll do it more in-depth, like I said, on the scuff in this. And I'll do a comparison on, you know, just how I felt after using this one. But I hope you guys enjoy this. Thanks for watching. Like I said, use code Akara. You'll save 5% off your order. And, uh, yeah, thanks. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't. We have plenty of content coming up. And I will talk to you guys later. Hope you have a good day. See you later.